I'm at the Upper Potomac River. One of my subs, Eric, he's already uh, pretty about waist deep in the water. I'm about to join him. Let's feel this water. Oh, this water is warm. Feels good. Crystal clear. I don't know if you guys can see that. You can see everything in this. Yeah, this water feels like it's about like 84 or something. I'm gonna try to catch some smallies today. I'm gonna start off with a little tube. Does it get deeper than this or not really? Or you don't know, you can't say for sure. Maybe a little bit deeper. Maybe a little bit deeper? Yeah. Like, do you think it goes past the GoPro or not really? There's a slim chance. Slim chance, okay. Slim chance. Yeah, it gets a little deep right here. Yeah, I have the GoPro in the waterproof case, so you guys are not gonna get the best audio quality. And if I catch a big fish, you'll probably hear my heart beating. So currently we're about two inches off the surface of the water. It feels really, really good. Man, I don't know if you guys can see this grass. It looks awesome out here. This grass is crazy looking. Let me pull some of this up for you. You guys can take a look at what we're dealing with. This is everywhere. Hey, you're getting kind of deep there. Oh, you're fine. You're good here. I'm good here? All right. <laughs> The fun part about exploring a creek, trying to find where you can go through and not go over your head. Yeah, definitely a smart move to put it in the waterproof case, about one inch off the surface right now. I wonder what this is gonna look like walking through here. And actually, what I could do, I can go underwater with this, can't I? Show you guys the beauty of nature. Going underwater. All right, so that's what we're dealing with today. A little pop right there. Where'd that come from? Oh, that's a hit. Is that a fish on? I got one. Yeah, it's a good one. Dude, it's a good one. It's a big fish. Bro, oh, they came No, he came off. Man, right off the bat. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Dude, that's a big fish. Yeah. On that tube right here, we've been out here for literally about 10 minutes. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Four or five pounds of Yeah, you're the one you caught. Oh, oh. nice, <laughs> first cast. Oh, he got me. He got one on the first cast. <laughs> oh man, on the tiny torpedo, nice dude. I got a hit. There's one. Little guy. Oh, little guy. Not nearly as big as that first one, but hey, first one. Hit run the drop. Oh, cute little creek smolly here. Oh, you got one doubled up. We doubled up over here. Swiped at it. Swiped at it. Look at that. That's awesome. Look how big this one is. Mine ate that tube good. Let these guys go. Awesome. Ooh, first one. Yeah. The first yeah. Smalley's doubled up. That's what I'm talking about. He missed it completely and he happened to roll on his belly. There's another one. Next cast. Next cast. He's swimming towards me. Oh, that's a little guy. Another little guy. And these guys are fast. We're going to go with the underwater release on you. Here's the underwater release. Oh, you got one? Came off. Every cast. We, we've nothing for like 20 minutes or so, then we found this area right here. The stretch, uh, what exactly are you fishing? Why are they all over here? Well, I think it's because there's a little bit of a ledge here, and then there's a little bit of a uh, grass bed, and you can kind of see them just dimpling the surface over here right now. Yeah, they're feeding. Oh, the bluegill on it, probably. Wait, actually, I think I got it this time. I got it this time. Got the little dude this time. No! He got off. Oh, oh man. All right. I've just missed about 20 fish just like that. I'm going to go do a little popper and uh, have some fun catching on top water. See the rain coming towards us. There's no rain here. It's about to hit us. I'm gonna, I was about to put on my waterproof case, but uh, that will no longer be happening quite yet. Oh, yeah. It's on us now. We literally saw that rain. Yeah, you got a fish? He's got a fish on. Uh, let's go check his bass out. We're in the rain, fishing. He's got a bass. Dude, I just tied on a topwater, now they're not going to see it. There we go. 
Nice. Three quarter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's ready to go. Oh, it's coming down now. And you can see the rain's coming down, but there's actually some sunshine right over there. Yeah, I should have kept the tube on at this point. Yeah, this will be quick. Well, he probably won't notice my popper, but we'll, we'll throw it out anyways. So the rain stopped, but the bite seemed to have turned off too, unfortunately. We're moving around. Eric's in a little hole right there, getting pretty deep there, man. About to fill up his waders. That's what we're doing, basically. We're just covering water and looking for these holes uh, with grass, and that's where these uh, fish seem to be stacked up on. Another yeah, another one busted right over there. It's getting deep here, guys. I'm right, where Eric was. You guys are about to go underwater as I make my way. All right. What are you switching to right here? Switching to a water. I call this watermelon ghost. I think is what it's called. All right. Little speck on the top, yeah. way on the bottom. I like your uh, patented rod holder right there. Bring two rods out in the water. It's good stuff. Oh, dragonfly, double dragonfly. Land on my rod. All right, it's, it's five pounder time. Look at that. Double dragonflies on the rod. That's gotta be good luck. Got him. Yeah. Back on the top water. He's gonna crush you. So you get, check this out. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. Nice dude. <laughs> got good flat. Uh, the underwater fight. I got him on the little swim bait. Pretty fish. Hey, fish. Whoa, it broke me off! Wow. No! It broke you off? What the F? Wow. Dude, I must have, my line might have been around. Oh, there it is. This is my fish. Oh, he spit my tube. He spit at my tube. I'm gonna get my tube back. Dang. Oh, I see it. I found my tube. Here we go. Check it, guys. Uh, got my tube back. Oh, he's back the hook too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit better. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. I'm coming. All right, it might be turning back on. Eric found one a little bit better. Yeah, these, these things fight. Oh, yeah, it's a beauty. Look at this. Woo! Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that fish. That's a good one. That's a good one, That's not man. Not bad at all. Took it on the drop, let him swim with it for a second. And these tubes and swim bits are made by your buddy, right? Uh, well, not my buddy. Oh, not your buddy. He's from around here. Gotcha. And he, he makes these specifically for the river. For the river. There you go. I have his link in the video description. You got to check out, help out a uh, local local dude. Well, we're going to let this guy go. You got one? We doubled up. We doubled up. Right after you released that fish. I think we found another little group of them, Dan. I got a little guy. Hey, double up again. Double up, there you go. Second double up. Look at that. Nice. That's awesome. Oh. Ten. Ten. Nine. <laughs> nine. We'll go with nine. <laughs> Let's get the dual release. There we go. Dual release underwater, guys. Oops, oh, mine. there goes yours. Oh, here's mine underwater. No, nope, I didn't quite get underwater, but. Swim back up or something? On the Potomac. Oh, yeah. Okay, is that a fish? Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, I got it. Tiny. Tiny. Well, I'm back on him. Look how pretty these fish are. I wonder if you guys can see that. Gorgeous fish. I'm good. See you, buddy. So that wraps up the fishing portion of this video. We ended up catching about 20 to 25 smallies. No huge ones, but it's a really fun day in the water. Cool off a little bit in the hot summer heat. And uh, those creek smallies, they fight insanely hard. And um, I just want to show you the rig that I used for the bait that I caught my fish on, which was the tube rig. And uh, specifically, it was a stupid rig tube. Uh, the rig's name is stupid, but the tube itself is actually uh, pretty genius. What you need is uh, your favorite tube, and you need a tube jig head, one just like this. And uh, I'm gonna show you real quick how I rigged that up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your tube upside down. You have the hook, 
and you're going to put the hook inside of the tube and you want that hook to come out about uh, half a centimeter from the top of the tube. So I'm kind of just going to work my way up here. And it's a little bit hard to do from behind the camera because I'm only looking through a small camera screen but I think I should still be able to do it. And up, oh, that's a little bit a little higher up. I think this should be about good. So you want to poke a hole about it's like a centimeter from the top. Push it through. You want to grab that hook and pull it all the way up. All the way up until you reach the jig head. So the jig head is now right here. You want to rotate that jig head up into the top of the tube just like this. And then you're going to poke a hole through the tube for the eyelet of the jig head like that. Just like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the hook and you're going to rig it up from the back of the tube. So you want to, so you look at the bend of the hook and you put the uh, hook point at about that point through the tube. I'm just going to estimate here. And then you're going to go through both ends like this. And there you have it. That is the Stupid Rig Tube. An extremely compact natural presentation. It allows for a slow natural fall when you're fishing this thing. By far my favorite way to use a tube. I, I rig it like this 90% of the time when I'm using this bait. And uh, I'll usually have the hook point open and uh, just tight, right tight against the uh, plastic right here. So if a fish bites it, it'll collapse down and it'll get a good hook set right through it. But if I want to make it even more weedless, you can kind of you can kind of skin hook it just a little bit like that, just to give it a little bit extra weedlessness. And uh, if you rig it like this in the river for smallies, I can pretty much guarantee you guys will get bit. So go ahead and try out a stupid big tube.